Sometimes, electronic devices become unresponsive, appear to be frozen or hanging, or just don't seem to be working correctly. In these cases, a power cycle might help. When you power cycle a remote, you remove power from the remote, drain residual power, and then add power back to the remote. These actions will typically reset the remote. If this all seems very simple, it is. Let's power cycle this remote. First, we're going to remove the batteries from the remote. By the way, if you haven't changed your batteries in a while, you might want to replace them now. Next, and with the batteries out, we'll drain any residual power that may be held inside the remote by holding down the power key on the remote for five seconds. This is also a good time to make sure you don't have any stuck keys. Push each key a couple times to unstick any stuck keys. Again, you're doing this with the batteries out of the remote. Return power to the remote by inserting the batteries. Be sure to line them up properly, looking for the plus and minus signs. Now it's time to test out the remote. For IR or infrared remotes, be sure to point the remote at the TV's IR receiver, usually a little dot in the corner of the TV. Also, make sure nothing is blocking the signal between the remote and the TV. If you haven't removed the protective plastic covering on the TV's bezel, it can impair the remote signal to the TV, so be sure to remove that too. See our other video on troubleshooting remotes for more suggestions.